All right, yo, what's up? We better start volume four, episode one of Ruby. So we're gonna get right into it, man. So last episode was insane. It was freaking just, it, it was just crazy. Everything was happening. Pyrrha died. Um, we'll never forget about that. Uh, sad day, sad, sad day. I still don't really, okay, I, I could kind of understand why people felt bad when Penny died, but I don't know. I just didn't feel anything when Penny died. You know, I know she had like a soul and like, you know, she had like a semblance and all that stuff and like, you know, it makes sense why some of the people in the comments were like, oh, I mean, like, well, she had a soul, like, she had a semblance, so people thought, you know, she could be brought back, or she she wouldn't be the same, or, I don't know, like, she, she, she was a person, you know? I mean, even though she was, like, a robot, she was still a person, which I get it, but I don't know, I, I, I feel like she could, she's gonna come back. So she could come back. All she needs to do is just get built up again. It's a cyborg. I, I don't know. But that's just my mind. I'm finna get right into it and not stall any longer. Oh shit, I do need to lower this. Obviously because copyright reasons. Oh yeah, and the person from the last episode we saw at the ending was Salem. And I guess they were like... Um, she was talking to Ozpin. And Ozpin were like narrating, conversation, conversating to each other. So, interesting. There. What the hell? Oh. That's, that's how they're born? Ugh. Oh, this is where Salem is. Okay. Oh, we got Mercury and Emerald. Here goes the big bad group. The big baddies. Yes, yes. Please keep your... Posse and check. What's... You hear that? Silence. I have half the mind to thank the little girl that bested you. If I were you, I'd hunt her down. <laughs> Find her, and... Well, she took your eye, didn't she? Is that my ruby? Wait, Ruby fucked Cinder up this bad? What? Nah, bro. Motherfuckers with silver eyes are so OP. Because I, I was confused for a second. Because I was just like, wait a minute, hold on a second. Why is she like this? Because she was like perfectly healthy, healthy and just whooping muffo's asses bro okay that makes sense okay so it was the girl with the silver eyes oh shit all right they know what's up with that door opened Ugh. i need to damn freaking there we go Why are they standing up? Shouldn't they be sitting down? Or is that a respect thing? What? Do you find such malignance necessary? I apologize, ma'am. I'm not particularly fond of failure. Then I see no reason for your cruelty towards young Cinder. She's become our Fall Maiden, destroyed Beacon Tower, and most importantly, killed dear Ozpin. 
So I'm curious. Damn. To what failures are you referring? So that just got confirmed. The girl with the silver eyes. Yes. We've dealt with their gun before. How is it a novice was able to best one of us? My thoughts exactly. Even without her new power, it should have been effortless. It is because of the Maiden's power. Make no mistake, Cinder. You hold the key to our victory. But your newfound strength brings with it a crippling weakness. Which is why you will remain by my side as we continue your treatment. Dr. Watts. You are to take Cinder's place and meet with our informant in Mistral. Very good. What about Mercury and uh, Emerald? I want you to continue your hunt for the Spring Maiden. <laughs> Gladly. And Hazel, I'm sending you to the leader of the White Fang. Adam Taurus has arranged the meeting. The boy continues to prove loyal. Ensure that Sienna Khan feels the same. As you wish. Oh. Speak, child. She wants to know... What about the girl? What about her? Seems to me like this is Cinder's problem, not ours. That's enough. Tyrion? Oh, she, Cinder wants to kill Ruby. Spring can wait. Find the girl that did this to Cinder. <laughs> <laughs> and bring her to me. Because of your efforts, Beacon has fallen. And Haven will be next. Oh boy. <laughs> eye for an eye. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So Osben really is dead. That is... Well, that's unfortunate. I wonder what he did to make that girl so mad, though. Salem. Why are they showing this guy? Just a normal farm boy. Man, that looks peaceful, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, you know, you working in the farm. You work in that farm. Junior isn't a color. Ugh. How could I be more clear? One, two, three. Junior. That's more than one. But we're helping Ruby with her objective. Wouldn't that make her the leader? Guys, we need to focus. Also, Junior is way cooler. Exactly! Uh, uh. I like Junior better. I ain't gonna lie. It makes sense. <laughs> it's here. Oh. Oof. Let's get that thing off. 
offer. Let's go. Don't forget me. <laughs> <laughs> like God. No damn draw lively. attention away from Ruby. Maybe the eye? Oh, Ooh. Good stuff. Or, never mind. Oh, they, they all went flying. Damn. <laughs> You'll be fine without a weapon. You're the strategist. <laughs> John was never good at landing, though, to be fair. Ooh. Oh! Why did he do that in the first place? Oh my lord. Oh my guy. Oh! Oh! What the hell? His arm is a tree! His arm is a tree! <laughs> <He's mistake. laughs> oh! doesn't care about its body. Plus, it can keep grabbing new lambs. But it's protecting its face. We can't break it. Uh, if we knocked all of its limbs off at once, then went for the... Guys, I got it! We hit it harder. Is that it? No, seriously. It's trying to keep us from its face. If we kill the limbs, we'll have a shot to kill the whole thing. All right. Come on, team. Let's do this. Yeah! Right. That's like a good idea. Ren, left. Ruby, right. Nora, you ready to try out the new upgrade? Nice. Right. And I will oh shit, jeez. John, <laughs> get out of the way, please. What the hell? Well, at least they killed it. Huh. Another victory for Team Junior. All right, you know, okay, Ren, I think you're onto something. It, it, it's just not sounding great anymore. What? Oh, I thought it sounded good. It, damn. We truly can't <laughs> thank you enough. Just doing our job, sir. That geist had been plaguing our village for weeks. We were beginning to wonder if we'd have to relocate. Well, we are on our way to Mistral. 
You can always come along with us if you don't feel safe. <laughs> I take it you're not from these parts. Anima is a large continent. I'm afraid oh, wow. our people would never survive the long trek to Mistral. It may be safer in the kingdoms, <laughs> but we prefer our way of life. I just wish we could pay you more. Our previous arrangement is more than sufficient. Understandable. There you go, son. It's gonna be heavier than you used to, but you'll thank me the next time you go up against a set of claws. Wow. I, I don't know what to say. Don't gotta say anything. Just put it on. I'll go get the rest. So, what are you waiting for? Oh, uh, right. Guess I was gonna grow out of it eventually. A sign of progress. Progress. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is that? What, my hoodie? I've always had this. Wait, really? What? <laughs> what? Well, I suppose we don't have to grow out of everything. <laughs> uh, uh. I have a huntsman without his weapon. Made all the modifications you asked for. That was some fine metal you brought me. Oh, that wow. Sits the white nicely. Where'd you get it from? Oh, damn. Oh, he used to appear a... Uh... Ooh, that sword looks sick. He cleans up all right, don't you think? Yeah, that looks neat. That was fucking cool. He certainly does. I still think a grenade launcher would have really brought the look together. God damn it, Nora. Team, <laughs> team Junior. Still not a color. It doesn't matter what we're called. As long as we're together. What? It goes with Your the shield? Stick around. It's so sick. Good to this town. Sorry, but we've got another mission. Make it to Haven Academy. No matter what. We've heard the next village over has a working airship. Hmm. No way to know for sure. Scroll signals were bad enough out here when Beacon Tower was still up. Haven't heard from Shion Village in a while. Well, there's only one way to find out. Huh. Food. Check. Water. Check. How about ammo? Locked and loaded. Thank you, Schneed Dust Company. Got the map? Uh, Red's got it. No, I don't. You have it. Wait, what? Guys, please tell me you're joking. <laughs> guys, uh... guys, <laughs> guys, <laughs> they're lost once more. Oh, we're seeing wise finally. Yes. What the hell is this midget? Pardon the interruption, Miss Schnee, but your father wishes to speak to you. Thank you, Klein. Oh, yeah, the animation looks a lot better. You can tell. They polished just a lot more. Because I remember them saying the first season had only like... I'm sorry, gotta skip that through that. Because <laughs> I remember they said the first season had like a bunch of like... Just not not even a bunch, but like just like a few small people. They only had like five people when the first volume came out. That's like impressive. And I guess I guess the people, the more people came in, um, I guess the more people that came in, the animation like 
improved a lot more. That's what's up. I'm kind of glad, you know, Ruby's not in a slouch like Yang is right now, which is to be understandable. Yang is going to take a while because, you know, she kind of lost her whole part of herself. So that's going to be like a little bit. I mean, that even like, you know, really tells in real life people sometimes they lose a limb or something like part of themselves mentally. Like it, it takes a toll on somebody, you know, it's a loss, a loss is a loss. So that arm was, you know, that was really her power right there. I mean, she was was boxing mofos with it man so he's gonna be probably stalling for a little bit <laughs> but i'm kind of glad ruby's out here you know not depressed like you know yang is and you know just it just moved on kind of moved on but just you know just taking it by the chin you know but i think honestly i think ruby had much more of a better experience during that situation well not really i'm not i wouldn't say entirely better because she watched pira die you know, and, and a lot of fuck shit also happened. Um, <laughs> you know, it's just, yeah, no, a lot of shit happened that day. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. Well, Penny, she also watched Penny die, too. So, Ruby kind of had it okay, you know. Not not good, but, like, at least she didn't lose a limb or anything, you know. So, I'm kind of glad that, you know, everybody, you know, is still... I don't know. I guess they're going to Haven right now. So, I guess they, I'm glad everyone's still moving and being... What they want to do is just trying to be a huntress. And I've been dying. Um, I was kind of expecting it, but I didn't think he was actually going to be confirmed dead in this like volume. But my problem is, I'm kind of confused though, because like someone in the comments, um, uh, what's his name? I forgot his name. Uh, uh, I'm gonna bring it up. Okay, never mind. I read the comment again, and I get, I guess, current Ozpin uh, can go toe to toe with a maiden, but like his prime self could probably beat a maiden. I'm kind of just curious how powerful Ospin really was, like, back in the day. Also, how old is Ospin? Because, like, that's also really a thing I do want to know. I also forgot to watch the character shorts. I had to do that, too. I have to actually get into that, because I know those are between the volumes. So I'm going to get into that, too. Um, especially. Alright, we are back. Ruby Volume 4 character shorts. So this is when all the shorts were coming in. This is about, I guess, all of the Ruby characters that were on the Ruby team. We're gonna get right into it. See what's up. I'm gonna turn off this CC off. Quality is like, okay. I'm sorry, I keep adjusting stuff. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, Jake also said, like, I'm surprised you didn't ask what happened to the moon. I'm also really curious. I don't know what, what did happen to the moon. Like, did someone just blow it up with a fucking bazooka? <laughs> it's, I don't know, maybe it could have been some... some stuff. Oh, shit. Okay. What? Well, damn. I love Ruby's new outfit. Oh wow. I just want to say, getting hit okay, this is a bad place to pause. Um <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Getting hit with that in real life would really kill you. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. Uh they are so lucky that they have aura assemblance. Holy shit. Mm. 
Oh, are we? What the hell? Harambe? What the hell? They got the gorilla. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Gross throwing grim. God, okay. Where do those petals even come from? I'm assuming, I'm assuming that's part of her semblance. Ooh. this victory. Ruby, we saw smoke. Heading your way. Don't start without us. You better hurry. All the girls are separated from each other. Damn. Three, volume five. Oh, okay. So this, they're all separated from each other. Okay. Dude, the animation is ten times better. Holy shit. And in its place there's nothing. Just an endless empty hole. The light that showed the way is gone. And darkness takes control. That's tight. That was pretty, that was sick. Yeah, the animation looks 10 times better, bro. I like her little ballerina poses. Oh, okay. I just realized he's doing shadow training right now.
Oh, Winter set that up? I thought it was her. I'm not always going to be around to save you, Weiss. I'm sorry. I'll get better. You'll have to if you ever want to leave. Oof. Her dad's not letting her go then. So that's why she didn't want to go back so bad, because she knew if she went back, her dad would want her to stay. Oh, that was before before. Okay. This is her that was her going that was her after the volume three. That was her, that was her, um, in volume three, when they were, like, getting everyone to leave. Damn, bro. Oh, well, she won't be back out for a while. <laughs> no, that's different, damn sure. All right. Ooh. Come on. You totally could have dodged that. Yang, I already told you. I'm just not cut out for hand to hand. Why can't I just use my beautiful crescent rose? That's exactly why I wouldn't let you bring it. Ugh. I'm going to be leaving for Beacon soon. I want to make sure my little sis could hold her own while I'm gone. This is like the first volume. Or before the first volume. Fine. Oh shit. <laughs> nice one, sis. You're not always gonna be able to run away from your problems though. Sometimes you just have to stand your ground and fight, no matter what. To to be fair, that's a smart ass move though, because you know how Yang punches. <laughs> Yank punches are no joke, man. Ruby was smart on that one. I would have ran too. Enough rest. The hell you being? My face is not gonna be become Swiss cheese, man. Ruby? <laughs> oh. Ruby. Hello there, my enemy. To Where did Ruby go? Damn, she's really strong. Okay. Mmm. My God, bro. I will say the soundtrack got a lot better too. Oh, did she get hit by that Grim too? She should have had that scythe with her. Oh yeah, she takes damage, she gets more power. It's okay. 
I've always got your back, sis. Oh, damn. Oh, things change, man. Oh, man. That makes me sad seeing that now. Because she's not with Ruby. <sighs> Damn, that sucks, bro. Okay, let's see what Blake's up to then. Let's see what's up with Blake. Alright. Got no ads. Good stuff. Is she back in her homeland? Can I ask you something? Sure. Why... Why'd you join the White Fang? Same reason as you. But... But why fight when I pass for human? It's okay. You're not the first person to ask. Uh, son's there? I know I look just like any other human girl. And for years, that's how I was raised. We lived in Mantle with the other Faunus working the mines. My parents wanted something better for me. They managed to enroll me in an Atlas prep school. <laughs> Imagine that. A little Faunus girl from Mantle going to the City of Dreams. I felt like a princess. But I had to follow a set of rules. It was already on smoke. No bringing friends home, no talking about my parents, and absolutely, under no circumstances, was I allowed to change colors. No one could know I was a Faunus. That sounds terrible. It wasn't. It was confusing at first, but it wasn't hard. <gasps> Especially if it meant being an atlas. Oh, so. Sometimes the other girls would say things. About so that's why she has all that spots that on her. Animals, that they were dirty or they lied, and I'd say those things with them because I felt like I was one of them. And then one day there was a cave-in at the mines. I was at school when the news broke. Apparently, one of the workers tripped while handling some agitated dust crystals. The explosion caused a chain reaction. And my... friends... snickered. <laughs> snickered? Oh, I guess they snitched or something? Every inch of me turned blue as I wept. Damn, she caught up that fast. And suddenly, all the girls that I'd laughed and played with. But do had a good foot on them. Were scared of me. I'm sorry. Don't be. I broke their teeth. Damn. Oh, she just came back. <laughs> so she's with the white fang now. 
That's something. Okay. Nice. I the, the the soundtrack is good. This is insane too. All right. So everybody has their own stories now. Everyone's in their own separate worlds now, and it's just damn. I mean, that was it, bro. All right, man. I'm gonna get out of here for today. I think I talked long enough. <laughs> All right. I'll see y'all later. Peace.